Right, mate. Guy Martin is investigating how autonomous cars will move, see and think for themselves. Go on. If they have no driver. We've automated a transit, but the complicated bit is how can we make a car see? Californian tech companies like Luminar think LiDAR is the best way, which uses a laser beam to measure how far objects are from the car. It's also the system favoured by Google, where the laser scans from a small pod on the car's roof. Their $1 billion Waymo project has already logged three and a half million miles of real-world testing, including journeys with blind passengers. Falling over. Hey, you need a ride? <laughs> <laughs> We are thinking of Silicon Valley. Here we come. Pucky your lip, boys. <laughs> hey, but no, no, we're off to Hungary. Hey, I've never been to Hungary, though. Hidden in the back streets of Budapest is the tech startup AI Motive. They've come to the conclusion that you can do the thick end of this car automation with cameras. At the moment, systems relying on LiDAR cost tens of thousands of pounds. But here, just six cameras totaling little more than £2,000 do most of the work. The magic comes from the software used to process the visual information. Coordinated by Chief Scientist, Gergay Debreseni. But Gergay, nice bloke, bloody clever, spent five years working at CERN, a large hadron collider, looking for that Higgs boson. He wasn't the sweeper upper at the LHC. He was, um, he's, a, he's a particle physicist. Particle physicist? Physicist? <laughs> particle, anyway. Anyway, he knows what he's bloody doing. The kind of data analysis that we performed there uh, is very much similar to the data analysis we are doing here with the cameras and very similar AI-based, artificial intelligence-based algorithms. And uh, it was very easy to see how one can apply that knowledge in this field. They're not playing at it. They're not playing at it. Guy will now get the chance to see the system in action on a motorway out of town where testing is permitted. I was in with the safety lad, Voltage, I called him. <laughs> He's Jolter. Jolter, that's how I remembered his name. There you go. Ah, OK. Oh, just like that. Okay. Okay. OK. And I'm seeing what the computer is seeing. So that there, that is just depth. The yeah, red is, is the depth. nearest, the green is the furthest away. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. OK. okay. The cameras are connected to a computer in the boot, running a huge optical database. It means the system can recognise lorries, even if they aren't moving. You, you, need that, you need that one there to pick up. Is it OK for you? Yeah. yeah. They join Hungary's M6 motorway that connects Budapest to the south. Guy is about to be driven by an autonomous car on the public road for the first time. We, we pick a big moment, we get it up onto the motorway, get it up to speed, press the button, and then it takes over. So go on, what should we do? F. F3, you can engage the... Are you ready? The, the self-driving mode, yeah. Okay. Yeah? OK. Oh, that's it. That, look, hands off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's quite okay. smooth, it is quite smooth, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You look slightly nervous. Are you nervous? <laughs> With more than one forward camera, there's always backup if one becomes obscured by mud or water, which Guy decides to test. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You've always got to try and get it to crash. Back at the garage, the AI Motive car performs its last party trick, finding an empty bay and parking. Yeah, it's a strange feeling. Yeah, you've got the brake pedal though, haven't you? Yeah, 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 my <laughs> And it stopped the car. Hey, Joel. That's been bloody interesting. I thank you very much. It was really good. AI Motive think they'll have systems ready to be sold within five years. They also think the early adopters will be haulage companies. Self-driving lorries are already being tested by several manufacturers. 60% of the cost of running that truck is the driver's wages. So, obviously, if you've got a computer driving it, you don't need to pay him 20 days holiday a year, do you? You don't need to buy by taco love. 
The scale of job losses in driving industries could be huge. There are 285,000 truck drivers in the UK. In the US, there are 3.5 million. In China, there are 16 million. But this is fact. Over the past 15 years in England, over 800,000 people have lost their job due to technology, due to automation, computerization, all that sort of things. But technology has made 3.5 million jobs and better paid jobs. But there is going to be, when we say 280,000 truck drivers, yeah, there's going to be a lot of retraining. The most complex human function right. that autonomous machines must replicate is thought. This battery-powered drone is the latest device that has a mind of its own. It's an AI camera, an artificial intelligence camera. It's, it's learnt my face and it's just following me around. So you boys are soon going to be out of a job, aren't you? Come on, you see, come on, you see. It runs on algorithms, the commands that underpin all artificial intelligence and are fundamental in enabling driverless vehicles <laughs> to move. I'm going to have a go at writing a bit of algorithm. Can't be that hard, can it? If I can get away from it, is it going to try and follow me? <laughs> Game over! It takes years to write the algorithms for an autonomous car. Guy is going to try writing just one for a much simpler homemade device. Computer programmer Alison Cox is going to help Guy make an AI tease made. It works on the same principle as any autonomous machine. Go on. And we've written a, a great big script that ultimately controls a mechanical piece of kit. At its heart is a computer called a Raspberry Pi. Made in Wales, it was launched two years ago, but is already one of the best-selling computers of all time. They're pretty powerful for how cheap they are. It's like £35 or something like that to get, to get a whole computer that can run something like this. I think that's pretty good. The Pi has 16 terminals that can be programmed to be either on or off. Switching on things like the valve that pours the milk. So you need a line of code to open the ball valve, mm -hmm. line of code to tell it how long to stay open for, to stay open for and then, and a, then line a line of code, code to close, close it. it. Right, yeah. okay. So we can say uh, time dot sleep for three seconds, four seconds. Well, two seconds is a real milky cup of tea. <laughs> so, so what do you reckon? Would it know 1.5 seconds? Well, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. 1.5. And then if you go to run and run module. Guy has made his first algorithm. I'm impressed. Nice. Nice. Just like a driverless car, the tease made will use artificial intelligence to make decisions and automate a process. It will quiz Guy using an AI website that understands natural language. Once it's learnt, his unusual turns of phrase. On the pig's back, on the pig's back. So we've got on the pig's back. Yeah, on the pig's back means steady away. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. On the pig's yeah, back, yeah, yeah steady away. Is he blowing out my ass? Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> would, yeah, it's quite good there. Got a lot on you. The tea's maid will now be able to ask several questions and work out what sort of tea Guy needs. But choosing the right tea bag requires more coding. We need to use something called an if statement. So if you type in if answer and then yeah. equals equals. Why equals equals? Well, it's a way to compare a value okay, as opposed to right. change a value. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so what we're putting in there, high so, stress. Yeah, high stress. So then we'll say T-type. Right, like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Equals chamomile. Yeah. yeah. And then elif, because it's trying to say else if, but it, oh, it, right, it, right, it right. joins it together in one. Like that. Without the other E. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. <laughs> That's e, it, yeah, that. yeah. Elif, right, yeah. OK, yeah. This language is Python, and it's supposed to be really readable and understandable by, you know, beginners. Right. So this is a very high level, and what that means is it's closer to how we speak. Right. And low right. level means it's closer to how machines speak. Awesome. So go on, what do we do with that, then? Now that we've got all of these different little functions working in our code, mm -hmm. we've got the online service running, um, so it's ready to receive text messages and send text messages, we can probably go ahead and test the machine. 
Go on then. You have to send it a text message first to, to say, off, to right, say hello on. or something. And so Guy converses with the artificial intelligence using his 15-year-old mobile phone. That is incredibly fast typing. Gone. Message sent. R2D2 is at your service. How is it going? Look at that. You see that? <laughs> this is called this. <laughs> Text message, but what's the plan? Look as quick as that. Every response is influencing the strength of tea and type of cup. All right, GPS tracker says you have travelled 36 miles today in heavy capital, traffic capital. Therefore, you require strong tea. Please confirm. Lord TL. <laughs> Talk very much. R2T2 will now make your perfect cup of tea. Guy needs a cup of Please stand clear of the machinery. I'm impressed with this man. A little bin. They even put that there. The contents will be hot. Right, AIT. Well, there's plenty of worm. Colour's not far off, is it? That's yeah, right enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd like it a bit darker, but. You are? Well, that's alright. <laughs> that's alright, that. Yeah, good brew. Thank you very much. Good work. My mate. pleasure. <laughs>